Hi, this is Stephen from Empowered. Today we're going to be looking at how to add a virtual camera to OBS, in particular to Linux. Hi, this is Stephen from The Harvest is Ready. Hope you're doing exceptionally well. We've, we've got another video for you. Um, this time it's to do with virtual cameras. Now, I've seen a lot of tutorials for Windows and even Mac to enable this in OBS, but how do we do this in Linux? Well, it's a little bit more complicated, but not too difficult, but we'll go through the steps slowly, and then you can use it, and this should be pretty much applicable for any particular distribution you're using, I'm going to try and keep it as generic as possible. So here, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so what do we have? We need to, yes, we need to look at here. Okay, so I want to show you first where we can find the different files that we need. Now, for Windows, it's quite straightforward. You've got these two files. This, this, this will, you can use this link to download and install the plugin for OBS for Windows here. And for Mac, it is here. So you just follow those links, follow the instructions, and you can find online tutorials for do that, to, to do that. And yeah, but here, we're gonna get onto Linux. So here, in GitHub again, we've got the OBS Video for Linux 2 sync. This will create a virtual camera inside OBS, but we need a loopback device first. And how do we get this? Okay, we go, we, first of all, it depends on your distribution. I'm gonna show you what we would do in Fedora. In Ubuntu and Debian based, as um, Ubuntu and Debian based, you can, well, where we've got it here. Yeah, you can, you should be able to install from your repos aptitude install video for Linux to loopback DKMS. And if you install that, it should download the necessary files accordingly to um, set it up on your system. But for Fedora, it's not too much more, but we've got to do a little bit more work. Okay, so first of all, we've got to make sure that our system can install the drivers properly. So we need to run this command. Okay, and we do that. Let me, let me show in a little box here, okay? You do this in a terminal, okay? So you type in the terminal, and then you just copy this command over. Okay, I've got it in a virtual machine here, so it's on a pretty much cleaner system. I've done this already, so this won't take long at all. You'll be prompted for your password. Secret squirrel password, let's see if I did it right. And it will go to the internet, check to make sure you've got all the necessary files, and then see, nothing to do, so we're all good there. Then we've got to install the repo. Now, if you remember rightly, I showed you here uh, the repo, oh no, I didn't show you here. See here, this is a repo in a project called COPR, Copor. It's an independent repository system that compiles packages that may not be in the main distribution or in testing mode. Uh, this one is not pretty much in testing. I've tested it out. It seems to be pretty reliable. So to install, we just simply enable here and we then just install the loop by OS by running here. So let's show you how that works in the, in, the, in the device. So again, so we're gonna enable the repo. So we copy that, paste that. So yes, and that's enabled. And then we wanna install the loopback device. So we just run this command here. So with a couple of commands, we are good to go. Okay, it will probably say nothing to do because I've already installed it. Yes, it's already been installed. Okay, now, we have friend booty like I showed you. To check to see it's working, we're gonna run this command here. This command will enable another virtual camera and it will be on video device number 10 so yeah, we'll create a virtual eye on video device number 10 and it'll be named OBS Stream. Okay, so let's run this command. Copy. Shouldn't give me any errors, but we'll see. Because I've already got it working anyway already. Yeah, no errors came up. So we know now know that it is working properly. So we've now got 
a video device that we can use in OBS as a web camera. Or not as a web camera, it will be a, give a, a device that OBS can send a video image to. And then that can be used in other applications. So what do we need to do to enable an OBS? Well, we've got to go back to our OBS repository here, this video for Linux thing. There's the instructions here, how to set it up, how to compile it and everything, but you don't need to do it. I've already got the zip file of a pre-compiled library and it should work on any distribution. It definitely works for any version of OBS greater than 25. They haven't changed anything. And if it's, and if it does change, I would have to create a new one accordingly. But at the moment, this does not need to change. Okay. So what do we do? Well, since I've already, I've already on my system, I've already got it up and running. What I can do, let me open up the, yep, I've got the zip file here. I'll give you a link in the description below so you know where to find that. And we're going to move, we're going to copy that into our distribution here. So we're going to drag it onto here. And there it is in here. Okay. Now we want to extract that. So we're going to extract it. Okay. And then we've got the extracted files and we want to cut those and we want to move them to on your system. I mean, maybe a little bit differently. Oh, where, 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 where? Yeah, here. Okay. So it wants to be in the config file. It's a hidden file, an OBS plugin. So, so we want to go to the home folder. If you can't see the dot files, you need to go up here and show hidden files. See? Oh, okay. Show hidden files. Find the hidden folder called config. Then we want to go to OBS Studio, which is here. Oh, if there's no plugins folder, we need to create it. So we create a new folder, call it, call it plugins. Okay. Then we want to paste that video for Linux to sync folder. That is it. And here you'll see it's got all the necessary files for it to work. Okay. So we're done there. All we have to do now is start OBS. So let's start OBS now. Okay. We've got a little file here. Let's see if it's working. So we're going to tools. We've got a new menu in it called video for Linux to sync. We open that up and then we've got the video device 10. So that we make sure that is dev video 10 and we start. We, if we get an error here, we know if something is not right. It is not working, but there's no error. So we're all good to go. So now if we open another application like cheese, there we go. That's a photo application. We will see, oh, look, there it is. It's a little video camera app and we can see that it's working. We can move the object in OBS and you see it displayed in the cheese application because it, it's reading the webcam and displaying it through. Okay. Just one more thing. I want to make this permanent so I don't have to keep typing because every time we restart the computer, we will have to type in this line here. Okay because it resets itself every time it starts. This loopback device is not loaded automatically, but we can make it not load automatically. And how we do this, we're going to do some editing of some files. Again, not today, it's just two files that we need to do it in. So let's close out of this. Let's go back to our terminal. And we want to run this command here and we'll, it will open a text-based editor. Okay, we want to enter. Put in our super secret password. Okay. And we want to put in here video for Linux to loop back. Okay. So that one's done. So to exit out of it, you'll put it right quit. So full colon W Q. And that means full colon means command. W means to write Q means to quit. Okay. Then we want to do the next one, which is here, the loopback conf. So the first one tells the computer when to start to load the module, the video for Linux 2 loopback module. The second one here tells the computer what parameters we are going to put when we start this device. 
we put it in here and we put in these options in here which is basically the same command that we put in when we started the device and we're going to do it manually okay so when we've done that when we've copied and pasted that we go right quit and enter okay that's it it is done so that when we restart the machine ooh, <laughs> when we restart the machine OBS will be ready to run you won't have to do anything so just a set for turning this on so yeah one caveat okay one caveat when you're in when you've got the video for Linux 2 driver running in OBS some of your settings may not be available okay so especially when it comes to streaming and output see these are all grayed out okay now if I cancel that and turn this off stop this and then I go to settings again I go to output we can change the path of the recording and everything like that so that's a caveat that you have to remember that this is considered an output device so therefore some of the settings will not be available so just remember that so there we have it I will put the details of what we went through in the description below including the links to the zip file and stuff for the um, OBS virtual camera plugin that I've already pre-compiled um, you can do it by scratch by following the instructions and the links that I've given you as well but I think it's gonna be far simpler just to download that zip or drop it into your plugins folder just make sure you enable your loopback device um, through your particular distributions instructions shouldn't be too difficult um, you just need to you know just need to download the particular packages for your distribution and you're good to go and then you can use virtual camera and, and programs like zoom or even Jitsi and um, you can have a nice really really interesting session so don't forget we had um, the harvest is ready you know we're focusing on trying to equip the church whether it's spiritual or in the media production that you're doing we know that there'll be a stream for you so please like comment and subscribe and if you want to hear some more spiritual things or you want to hear what I'm up to you know go over to my Facebook page and um, check that out also I haven't done this for a while um, I do have an ebook so if you go to my channel uh, not my channel my website which is www.theharvestisready.com and put a subscribe into uh, subscribe that just means you just put your name and email address and I, I may send you a newsletter from time to time and I, I'll be honest it's not really often so just to do that so you can get the link to download my ebook okay so all the best God bless till next time bye bye